Okay, this is a quick video and a follow-up to my last video on how to put text on a circle. This is putting text on the lips. Um, it's a little trickier than putting text on a circle, so I'll show you how you go about doing that the easiest way I've found. So, I select my text. I've already got my text typed out here and got an ellipse out here. Select the ellipse, and if I do text, put on path, it throws the text over here and as you probably found if you try to rotate this it just stays in the same position and follows the ellipse around I can't get it to move where I want it to so I'm gonna hit control Z and go back and show you how I get around that the first thing I do is select the ellipse hit control D to duplicate it and then select a different color so you can see what's going on now select your text, select the ellipse, go to text, put on path, and it's put it back there where it was. Now select the ellipse tool, click on your ellipse, and you'll see it brings up these points. You've got two squares and a circle. Now if I grab this circle here and pull it, you can see it changes that ellipse into an arc. Now if I grab this circle, and move it, I can now move that text around to where I want it. So I'm going to put this text up here on top of the oval and I can put that anywhere I want on that oval by manipulating these two. If I wanted it on the side I can put it over there on the top. That's where I'm going. Then as I've shown in the other video you come up here to your measurement bar and pull your guide down and then you can line that up where you want it horizontally Sorry, hit the wrong thing there. But I can use that, go back to my ellipse tool, and I can center that up horizontally where my text is running pretty even. Now I can select my guideline. You could just leave it there for the next step, but I usually get rid of it temporarily by hitting backspace. So now the next thing I would need to do is I have to convert this to a path, shift control plus. And now I'm done with this text for the moment. Now I'll select my ellipse, go back to my ellipse tool, and return it to its original shape by hitting this selection here in the toolbar, make shape a whole ellipse. Now that's returned that to its original form. Now I'll select this text, hold shift, select the ellipse, same step, text, put on path. Now I want this to be flipped upside down on the bottom here. So I select it, both of them, and flip. Now I've got that on the inside there, which isn't really where I want it, but we'll fix that. Now I'm going to center this back up by selecting the top ellipse, selecting the bottom one, and then going to my align and distribute, center it vertically and center it horizontally. Now I'm going to move this top ellipse down one layer by hitting page down so I can see my text better. Now I'm going to select my ellipse tool and again I'm going to move these points. Move this one over here and now I can move that text down around the bottom where I want it. Then I can grab my guide tool, pull this down and center that up horizontally by again dragging these lip this little circle here until I get that where I want it. Now once I have that position where I want it, I need this text on the outside of the ellipse to match the top text. So we're going to go over to the text tool, highlight this text, and then hold the alt button and the down arrow and I can move that out to the outside of the ellipse where I want it. Now when I'm done, I want to convert this to a path, shift control plus. So I'm done with my text. Now I could just delete this, but the next time I go to draw an ellipse, it's only going to draw what I had there. So control Z, I'll go back, control Z. When I'm done with changing my ellipse to an arc. I select it, 
go back to my ellipse tool and come up here and return it to its whole shape that way if I go on with this design and draw something else it's back to being a whole shape so that is how I put text on an oval there's another way of doing it it's a little slower not quite as not quite as as quick but you can another way of doing that is you could convert your ellipse to a path by shift control plus and then you could turn your fill off and your stroke on then you can go to your node tool and you could go around and you could add nodes roughly where you wanted your text then you can break the path at those positions and then delete what you don't need we'll just delete all that and then what I would have left over would be this portion of that ellipse and I could put text on that path if I wanted but as, as I said it's a little slower it's not quite as smooth it doesn't work quite as well but it's another way of doing it but anyway that is how I put text on an ellipse the quickest, easiest way I know of. Hopefully that helps some people out. Thanks for watching.